Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today I'm going to show you how I like to set up elevons, like for a flying wing design, uh, using a FlySky FSI6X transmitter because I'm kind of a FlySky guy. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. So we have our flying wing right here. We have uh, our two servos for the control surfaces. These are con the control surfaces right here. The reason why they're called elevons is that uh, they work as both an elevator for the up and down pitch movement and as the ailerons for the roll movement of the aircraft. So what we have here, two servos, these are connected to a receiver. This is the uh, four channel uh, uh, FS2A. This is a FlySky receiver, and I'm using the FlySky FSI6X transmitter right here. We have a servo to power the receiver and a LiPo battery to power the, well, to power everything. I have these connected here, so, and I already have this uh, bound up to the transmitter and a new profile. We're going to turn on the power here. The transmitter is already on. Now you'll notice, you'll notice that when I move the, the uh, control stick here, the control surfaces move, okay? But they move individually because I have these connected, the servos connected into the channel, uh, into the one and two channels on the receiver here. So we have channel two, channel one right here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our transmitter and we're going to uh, press and hold OK to go into the main menu here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the functions setup menu and we're going to go down down to Elevon. We're going to click on that and then we're going to use the up or down key to turn Elevon on and then you'll see here channel one and channel two. That's going to uh, give you how much movement uh, in the roll and the pitch uh, for you know axes. So that's what that is going to do. It's basically adjusting your rates kind of. So if you didn't use like dual rates, that's how you would adjust the rates. And then we're going to press and hold cancel to save it. Let's go back in there. It is saved. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to test it out and see if these work. Okay. So what the, the goal is to get when I move the, the stick here, when I move it, uh, because this is, I'm using a mode two transmitter. So this should bring, pitch the plane upward. This should pitch the plane nose down. This is going to roll to the left and this will roll to the right. Um, so the goal is to get these control surfaces to, to respond in that way. So what we have right now is that if I pitch forward, uh, the left side goes up, the right side goes down. That's no good. Um, and the opposite, if I pitch back, if I pitch to the left, uh, both of them go down. And if I pitch to the right, both of them go up. So that's actually what we, we have basically the roll. We have the roll on the pitch stick and the pitch on the roll stick, and we don't want that. So what we can do is, uh, we can go into, go up from the Elevon back in our transmitter, scroll up, go to reverse, click on that. And then let's just try reversing channel one uh, using the arrows. And then now we actually, let's see, so our pitch, our pitch is working like it should. We're getting, so when we pitch back on this stick, the control surfaces uh, pitch upward, which is going to bring our nose up. And that's what we want. If if I point the stick, you know, or pitch forward on the stick, if I move the stick forward, the controls go down. And if I roll left, I want the left side to go up and the right side to go down. If I roll right, I want the right side to go up, the left side to go down. So this is actually working just perfectly, but it won't always work out like that. So all I had to do in this case was just reverse channel one. But what might happen is that you might have to end up swapping the channel one and channel two servo connectors. And I think uh, that is probably just depends on how your setup is. You can see these servos are actually pointing in opposite directions. So, um, so they're not, you know, they're identical servos, but I have them oriented in different ways. So that's going to, that's going to affect what you have to do to get them to behave how you want them to. And that's just kind of how I do it. It's a little bit of trial and error, but it's not too bad. Um, and so, yeah, between, uh, between swapping the actual servo uh, connectors and reversing the channels, you're going to be able to get your servos to move the control surfaces 
exactly how you want them. So that way you can fly your flying wing around and be all awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold cancel to save it. And then that's all there is to it. So now you could just go about uh, hooking up your plane the rest of the way. Oh, let me show you. Uh, let me show you. Let's go back into the uh, the Elevon menu right here. Now, if I scroll down, or no, if I press OK, which brings me to channel one, 50%. Now, channel one is going to be my roll, right? So, so this is channel one, and that's going to be what rolls the airplane. So, let me show you here. So, so if I move it like this, and I let's increase it. So, we're going to increase the amount of deflection, is really what that is. You see how the these surfaces are moving? So now, when we move it, oh my gosh. They are just like big old flaps, flapping around. And then if we bring it way down, that was 100%. We're going to bring it down to like 6%. That's how much movement we get, like nothing. So you're going to want it um, probably, what I would do is, is put it at pretty much 100% and then change the rates, change how much deflection there is in the dual rates uh, dual rate setting and and I'll just have that like on a switch so that way I could have low rates and high rates so that's how that's gonna work that's all there is to it folks I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you on the next one and now we're gonna do the outro thanks for watching everybody I'll see you next time be sure to like this video if you did subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one and leave me a comment that says something about something all right bye Thank